Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of rounding numbers to different place values. This is standard 4.2D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 off the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is a seemingly simple problem here. We have Scott. He's going to travel 557 miles to visit his cousin. We need to round this number to the nearest 10. Now what makes it tricky is there are no answer selections to choose from. No A, B, C, or D. So we are going to need to be able to put this into our bubble sheet in the answer document. So let's just go ahead and at least draw something that's going to look similar to that. And what you would look at is something that's got it's kind of like a little double line like this right here it's going to be our decimal point so there's really nothing there there's a little decimal point but there's not really anything there to bubble in what we have is we've got two places to the right of that decimal point and then we're going to have three places to the left of that decimal point so we'll have to put our answer in that bubble sheet right there but what does it mean to round 557 to the nearest 10. This is where it gets a little bit tricky because we're not necessarily looking to the largest place value. The largest place value is the hundreds place. So most of us can round to the largest place, but it's a little bit harder when we're rounding to something that's not the largest place, in this case, the nearest tens. Well, we're looking for boundary numbers. And if we can find our boundary numbers, we can visualize this pretty easy. And so let's take a, no a look at our number. We've got 557. And so what that means is when you do your boundary numbers, look at the the place you're going to, the tens place, right? So every digit to the left of that stays the same. And so what you're going to do is you're going to write two different numbers. One number is when you're going to write every digit to the left of it that stays the same, like 5. And you're going to keep that number the same, so that also stays a 5. And then every digit to the right of the number you're looking at always turns into a zero. So 550, 550, that's one boundary number. And then you're going to do the same thing, except what you're going to do is you're going to take that place value you're going to, which is the tens place, and just move that digit up one. So instead of 550, we're going to go 560. And these are our boundary numbers. So really, if we were to put this in a number line, what we're looking at is 550, and 560. Those are our two boundary numbers. And let's just go ahead and cut the difference there, and that's going to be 555. And here's the question. This 557, is it closer to 550, or is it closer to 560? If we can answer that, then that's what the rounding is going to be. And so when we place our... We've got 551, 552, 553, 554... 556, 557. See, there's our number right there. 558, 559. So here's our 557 right here. And as you can tell, it's actually closer to our 560. So that's what it's going to round to. So when we're rounding numbers, that's actually what we're doing. We're looking at the two boundary numbers, and we're saying, which boundary number is it close to? Now, obviously, we've got to find the boundary numbers. That was this process right up here. And some of us have learned to do that without drawing all of this. And what we do, there's a kind of a strategy for doing that, is you take a look at the place that you are rounding to, the tens place, you underline it, and you circle the digit to the right. And you look at the digit at the right. And if it's five or more, then you're going to round up to the next boundary number. If it's four or less, you're going to round down to the lower boundary number. And this 7 is definitely more than 5, so that's going to make that go up to a 560. This digit always, any digit to the right of what you're looking at, always go down to 0. Now, how do we put this into our little chart? Well, we don't need anything over here in the decimals. This is our hundreds, our tens, our ones. We're going to put 560. We're going to find our 5 and our 6 and our 0. We're going to bubble those in like we're supposed to but we leave the decimals blank. So don't put anything, you don't need to put zeros or anything in the tenths and the hundredth place. 